my YouTube channel. My name is Princess Dawiti. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be telling you my experience about being on TV. And I thought, you know what? Let me fix myself. Let me be cute. Because I am <laughs> one of the Eastern Cape Havila beauty dolls. So you know what, baby girl, I need to come through with this makeup content as well. So I thought just to, you know, make things happen and make this whole thing very juicy, we will have a special guest. Girl, girl, girl. Let me read you what this baby girl has so that you understand why I love her so much. So, there's a message here. This one. I don't know if you guys can see it. But anyway, this is the message. I'll read it for you guys. So, it says, You belong anywhere. In the spotlight, at the table, in any crowd. You belong because of who you are, because you fit in, because you stand out. Brutal food, you belong. What? So yeah. What I love also about this is that you just open it like so, twist, you're done. You don't have to break your teeth, guys, with Savannah. So let us. Mm. Ooh, don't spill, mommy, don't spill. Chashi boo boo. <laughs> okay, guys, for those that do not know, I am one of the resident content creators for The Ten, a show that plays on Honey Africa TV. DSTV channel 173. I do post like the repeat times on my social media platform. So please do follow me on Instagram at Princess Daweti, Facebook Princess Daweti. Those are the two apps that I'm frequently consistent in uploading like content. Okay. So what we do on the 10, we always count down the 10 biggest things, you know. It could be coolest fashion brands, top 10 hot couples, and stuff like that. But the content is based on African celebrities, meaning people from Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, and stuff like that. Also, the content creators that are part of the show are from South Africa, Botswana, and there is another one. Where is she from again? My other favorite. <laughs> where are you from girl i just forgot but i love that girl drc yes she's from drc so we are a variety of content creators from all parts of africa and we just comment our thoughts on whatever topic that they might have for example child oh child you guys already saw my favorite girl we held it down when we were commenting about rich nisi so basically that's how we kind of do our commentary on the show but interestingly we also don't know like if your video is gonna appear or not appear for how long but usually a person records a video of like a maximum of two minutes and you are allowed to comment on two celebrities or whatever thing that we counting down on that week so sometimes it happens that your videos don't make it and let me tell you man <laughs> that has happened for me because I still remember like my first video. That video was literally less than 10 seconds. I'm not even lying to you. That was literally my first appearance on the 10. I don't know if people noticed. Like everyone was so happy for me because of the new milestone that I was tapping into. I mean, I've always wanted to be on TV since I was a kid. But I wanted to be 
acting and that didn't happen and god just decided this year you know what baby girl i'm putting you on that platform because baby you've been wanting to go there but when i got that opportunity and i got that chance it was very hard because if you follow up on the 10 we produce like very fun videos and i'm a very serious person i talk about very serious things okay i don't normally have like fun videos but i'm actually tapping out of that because it was something that I needed to learn and I needed to experience as well because I did experience a lot of feelings of discomfort and also feeling like I do not belong here, you know? And there is a very special friend of mine that I'm very close with and I normally talk to about like my insecurities and things that I don't feel good about, you know? And this is a tip or a trick to anyone who's in school or at work. Always, always make sure that you are friends with the people that perform well. If you are in school, make sure you are a friend with the top student. If you are at work, make sure you are friends with someone that understands the work field that you are in. If you're friends with that person, um, I say, the rest will be history. Even your insecurity, that person can help you overcome it. And that has been my trick because even with university, I was friends with Urifilwe. Anybody that knows Urifilwe Rahomo from the Northwest University, they know that girl is focused. That girl is an A girl, you know? And she pushed me also to my greatest potential because i would always feel bad about you know being behind and she will help me out and that's the thing about clever students they never actually worried about you getting like higher marks than them they for them they just want to help the next person that is a clever person but immediately when you start performing better and the person feels intimidated that is someone that makes themselves look clever they not you know but i always make sure that someone who performs better i'm always friends with that person and try to get tips from that person so usi nekaba actually helped me a lot in terms of getting out of my shell and not wanting to give up because at the end of the day, even when I was part of the ambassadors for Brutal Food, I had a lot of insecurities about myself because of what society had already instilled in me, making me feel like, you know, I had to look a certain way. I had to dress a certain way for me to fit into that category of that thing that I want for myself. With Brutal Fruits, again, they made me feel so confident in, in terms of understanding that you belong Long. you just need to believe and live for that thing and just say the rest is history because i never thought honestly that i would make it on tv like what do you mean at what do you mean to me <laughs> that there are not a lot of designers that make use of meat waste and took inspiration from his own roots as he is a torso person himself. There is a girl a subscriber of mine a cute subscriber of mine who sent me a dm on instagram and she was like girl there's this new show that is coming on dstv channel 173 it's called the 10 this is how it goes da, 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 da. so this was in the early stages of like the 10 from season one because now we are in season two yeah i got there while they had already started but it was still early you know and then I got in there and then she sent me the email that I'm supposed to send whatever I needed to send to the person in charge at that time, which that person is no longer there right now. So guys, this is what I want a lot of people to understand. As much as I don't have like a large following, 
I'm not an influencer actually. I am a content creator because I create content for a living. Whether you decide to support my content or not, it's your choice and you have your reasons. Even though I would love like to hear your reasons personally, why you don't like my content or why you like my content because I feel like that's the only way I would know how to improve or work on best. I love you. I love you, Lulu. <laughs> You look so beautiful. Thank you, my love. I love you. I love you too. You make it a video? Yes. Okay. I can rest. Okay. I I eat myself. Oh, good girl. Please close the door, mama. Okay. Thank you, baby. I'm a good girl. Yes, you are. And a beautiful one, man. As I was saying, guys, I got plugged by a good friend of mine that saw it fit to actually plug me on this thing and i'll forever be grateful to her even though i haven't said it to her i think i should send her a dm and say thank you for helping me because the experience has been so great i learned a lot about myself and a lot about believing in myself and actually loosening up because this opportunity came at a very right time in my life I have been having quite a lot of content that i have to create i also do host like master classes for our legacy south africa which i talk about like social media and how they can carry themselves as a brand sticking mostly to what they believe in you don't have to come into this industry and be someone that you're not i'm kind of teaching those young girls young boys that they need to make their own mark they need to have a purpose they need to be intentional with their content and actually come and break through in this industry and trust me whether you have people supporting you or not you are bound to make it i don't have like a large following because we all glued to the fact that you know you need to have a large following to get to certain brands or get to be like a content creator and i think we need to also distinguish what a content creator is and what an influencer is i don't have the power and ability to influence people to actually buy into a certain brand and the skill and the artwork that i have it's mostly based into creating content i don't feel the pressure of coming on social media to be an influencer something that i'm not but you honestly can be anything that you set your mind to be you need to start believing and living for that and i love the diversity and meeting new people and trying to adapt to their own personalities you know i really love the collaboration with honey africa tv they obviously listen to our concerns that we have because we did kind of not that we did I did have <laughs> a few things that I uh, I was not happy about and I raised those issues and they were sorted out you know I love a brand that is so family grounded and they actually listen to their content creators they really make us feel so comfortable and I'm so I really am so grateful for the opportunity and guys to be honest, even though I didn't talk about what I needed to talk about, but anyway, I love seeing myself on TV. Ah, it's the best feeling in the world. And I love how whenever like I appear on TV, there's so many people that are like, oh, you know what, I know this girl. And then others are like, oh, you know what? Yeah. I love that. I love that a lot. And I hope that with my journey so far, you have learned so much because i'm just an ordinary girl what you see is literally what you're gonna get you know everything that i am it's because of god because i believe i wouldn't be where i am if it was not for his will so my message with everything that i said is that you don't have to be perfect you just have to be real about who you are your intentions and everything will just fall into place don't have to be someone that you're not to try to get where you want to be if people don't accept accept you for who you are then that's their loss so don't ever feel like you have to conform 
but you just have to confirm with yourself in terms of that thing that you want for yourself so never stop always believe in yourself don't seek validation from anyone else but yourself because you are the one person that knows yourself better than anyone else so don't ever give the next person the power and authority to say this is who you are you know who you are you tell yourself that thing that you want for yourself so never stop believing always strive for more and never feel like you need a certain thing to complete you to be able to be the person that you want to be you know so with that being said guys please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and please support me i really need your support and we are on the road to 1k subscribers please get me there but the one thing that i want the most is you guys watching my videos till the end so this is where i'm going to end off this video for today please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe Mwah! love you guys so much